one year ago at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas, a scrappy little upstart live video streaming service called Meerkat became the talk of the festival. Live video streaming, if you remember, was beginning its sudden extension into the minds of tech users as the next big thing in social. And Meerkat was there at the right time. They were kind of riding some of the early waves, getting a lot of press in the process. But since then, major competing services from Twitter and Facebook have all but demolished Mindshare of Meerkat. And so one year later, Meerkat apparently is going public with the news that it's pivoting away from live video streaming and into becoming a video social network. So a social network, you know, that kind of emphasizes video. I guess they realized last August that things needed to change because I mean, it really was like, I mean, it was, it was one of those scenarios where everybody was talking about Meerkat. Everyone was doing the Meerkat thing. And then suddenly no more Meerkat. Like it just was not even part of the conversation anymore. So they realized they needed to make a change and they're doing that. Yeah, I mean, Kurt Wagner broke this story on Recode, and uh, he didn't have a lot of details about what the new Meerkat would be. But one, he said it was a social network where everybody is always live, which to me, hmm. totally terrifying. Yeah. That's, that's a little bit scary. Uh, I think my only comment here is I hope they call it Warthog. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Possible. I mean, yeah, what, I mean, aren't, aren't social networks all, all, already always live? I mean, okay, if it's video and yeah. always live, that's a little bit scary because usually we're sitting in our PJs on the sofa tweeting while we're watching a TV show. Otherwise, yeah, I, I, I don't think I want to, you know, get pulled into that kind of conversation. Of course, you know, they've probably got some kind of idea. Meerkat was really, really hot. And I, you know, everybody wanted to have that app on their phone. I think we all just sort of realized after a little bit that it doesn't look that good to have live conversations with your phone uh it bounces all around and you're gonna lose signal after a while so hopefully they can take it to another level but i'm a little bit skeptical right now yeah i, I suppose we'll see i think one one interesting point uh that you know i gathered from the record article uh as far as their reasoning for switching is that they admitted that you know you take like photo sharing for example everybody knows what a good photo is everybody takes pictures all the time they're very used to it since before the internet you know even before the internet existed people were very used to taking pictures and always trying to improve them and show the best ones to you know their friends or their relatives whatever that's like that's like ingrained in us but when it comes to live video this is a new concept for a lot of people what constitutes good live video why why am i random person on the internet choosing to share this random thing in a video in a video form live video form to a bunch of strangers and is that compelling do people actually want it and do i know how to make something that people want to see like yeah. does it matter I think it can be compelling, but most of the time it's not. Mm. I mean, you know, we have a lot of equipment here. We have a lot of people, a lot of lights, makeup, <laughs> all the things. And, you know, still it doesn't necessarily compare to what people are used to seeing on TV. So I don't know. I mean, I, I have certainly seen like people at conferences and stuff, writers like tech writers that I really like. I've seen them uh, and they, they've just been, you know, they've just been introduced to a product. They're super excited about it. It's their off the cuff, uh, you know, thoughts about it. And I really like that. But mm -hmm. then a lot of times you'll just look at just random people and think, wow, like I am wasting my time. What am I doing this. watching mm -hmm. you right now? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, isn't, isn't this a little bit what Vine tried to do, but then people started overproducing Vines? Yeah, to make to make them compelling. So right. I'm not sure mm -hmm. where you go. Yeah, yeah that's true. So Ken, you said uh, Meerkat was really hot. I think we've said that, but but was it? I mean, that's the thing. Like, I'm not sure it was ever really hot. Like, I think that it, it was, was buzzy. Yeah, it, it was, was buzzy bad. because yeah. of us, because of people like us, mm -hmm. like me. I'll just, I won't blame anyone else, but people like me, narcissistic journalists <laughs> that, you know, that like these kinds of things and want people to see them talking about stuff. And we talked about the app and said how great it was, but it never caught on as much as we, you know, made people believe that Ev it was. Every everybody, yeah, everybody wants to be the one that calls the next big thing. And there for a while, it seemed like live streaming video from the palm of your hands was the next big thing. I'm not necessarily like at the point where I'm willing to say that it's not going to be a big deal at some point because you do have Facebook pushing it hard. And if there's a company that could potentially turn this into a very successful thing, uh, you know, uh, just kind of genre of content online, Facebook's certainly one of the, com the companies is poised to do that. But I think the same challenges face 
Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, still people aren't mm -hmm. as aware of what makes really good, compelling live content. Facebook, uh, you know, reportedly is paying celebrities to get them to use the live streaming things. And and Mark Zuckerberg is apparently obsessed with live videos. So they're, they're all in on it. Uh, it just really remains to be seen if the users are are going to be all in on it at some point. Yeah, I mean, beyond the compelling uses of live video for, you know, covering breaking news events mm -hmm. and so forth, I it 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 doesn't necessarily. This is this is a tough nut to crack. I'll just put it that way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even the citizen journalism, that was the other thing that yeah. we were saying. It's great if you're on the scene. I mean, there was, you know, a lot of riots and things like that. But even then, it doesn't it doesn't tell the whole story. And often that can really, you know, if it's not a journalist that's taking this video, you're not seeing the whole, you know, you're seeing just a very small part of it. That can cause some problems, too. I yeah, think. it can be powerful, good and bad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's no portrait mode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, there's that. That's a whole other issue. Unless you're on Snapchat. <laughs>